Okay, time for another little movie here. This time I'm running two very long trains, uh, one on each figure eight, and then the one little train jumping between the two figure eights. And it runs pretty smooth with that deal. It's not quite as congested, even though the trains are twice as long as they were with five trains running. So we'll see how things run a while. And we got the little train chasing the steamer right now. We'll see what happens up here at this turnout. Got the little train coming out of the mountain. And are we going to have a collision? Nah, the little train got the right away for some reason. <laughs> And he gets the green light, finally. We'll see what happens when he comes around the bend here on the little single track. There he comes. Yeah, blow your horn all you want. You still can't go. Oh boy, he takes off in a hurry though. <laughs> Here's a picture of what it looks like on the computer screen. Each one of those trains has taken up about half the length of one of those figure eights. My layout's really too small. I need to build a bigger one. Let's see what happens over here. Ah, not even close. Plenty of room. Need a better tripod. This one sticks a lot. <laughs> oh, yard is kind of deserted. I got most of the rolling stock in those other two trains. They gotta wait again. Well, he don't waste no time waiting though. Turn the little search light on. Of 
cool, huh? <laughs> out where you see those signal lights changing over there. I like signals, they're neat. So the other thing I did when I ripped out the CTC panel and all of its associated wiring, I went back to my original design plan where one of the signal turnout controller boards, I left the space for it on the second panel uh, where I had one on each half of the layout. That was the original plan, but when I put them in, I uh, put the two extra ones in the uh, yard area and that kind of caused a problem if I didn't have the yard connected to the main layout I lost control of some of my turnouts so I relocated one of those SE8 cards to that second panel as in the original plan and now I can run the main layout completely uh, independent of the yard with it out without it being attached so finally got around to doing that but I wanted to wait till I removed that panel wiring and I'll show you what those panels look like now each board has a PM42 circuit breaker board, uh, BDL168 block detector, and a SE8 signal turnout control card. All those little white things down at the bottom, uh, I've got 16 blocks with transponding enabled on it but I haven't been able to make that work with train controller seems to be kind of a boogie bear the old yard is kind of barren Don't think we're gonna get any collisions. I'll turn that spot on. It's cool. On that little short train.
That little guy, he's gonna take off really quick as soon as that observation car goes by. He don't waste no time. Pretty neat stuff. Slowly but surely I'm working on a little bit of the scenery. You can see I did a little grass, so I need to start working on this riverbed. Get it going before I can do the rest of the grass. Get that riverbed banks done so that I can run the grass up to the edge and start putting some shrubbery and trees. All that good stuff. See the little signal lights. See they'll change over there. A little short train's gonna take the route next there so it switched signals on the tracks. Runs a slightly different route. And you'll see the signals switch again as the steamer comes around. He's gonna run the other track. Don't think we're going to get any collisions today. <laughs> oh well. Mm. Passenger train got to wait a little bit. Get a little more clearance behind that other train. We have very small blocks, so uh, to enable all this automation to work, the train controller tries to keep two blocks separated between two trains. Most of my blocks are 36 inches or shorter. And obviously the trains are much longer than that. That's all we got for today.